friends, today we're gonna to be making a sweet cornbread. This is our favorite cornbread. This recipe come from my mom, Granny, as y'all know her. And this is, like I said, a sweet cornbread. So if you don't like a sweet cornbread, this is not gonna be for you. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your skillet. Now, if you do not have a skillet, that's okay. You can use um, an eight or nine inch pan. But I, I like to do mine in a skillet and I'm gonna use my grandmother's skillet that she gave me. She had gotten that for a wedding present. And so I like to use it. Now, you could use butter. I'm going to use a little bit of bacon grease to put in the bottom of my skillet before I put it in the oven to get it hot. So I keep a little bacon grease in this little pot here. I'm just gonna warm that up just for a second. And like I said, if you do not want to use bacon grease, you can use butter, just maybe like a two tablespoons of butter and uh, instead of what I am doing. So I've got my oven preheating on 425. And I'm gonna get my bacon grease. This is this little kettle that can put, be put right on the stove to warm up to get your grease out if you want to use some. I tell you what, the best flavor is, uh, you know, a little bit more than that, is bacon grease. So, um, now if I'm going to be making dressing with my bacon grease, with, with this recipe, I'm going to omit the bacon grease and I'm going to use butter. But today, it's going to be with the soup, so we want to use bacon grease. So just put your grease or bacon, your grease or butter right there in the in the uh, skillet and then we are going to warm up this skillet in the oven while you're mixing up your your batter okay so to start off we are going to use a cup of cornmeal whatever brand you want i use a variety of different brands so you want a cup of cornmeal Okay, and then you're going to want to use a cup of flour. Whole cup of flour. It says sifted flour. This recipe that I'm using, like I said, it's my mom's. We call her Granny around here, and she got this in a cookbook when she first got married. The recipe says sifted, but we've never done that. So, okay, so a cup of flour, okay? Now, we are going to put in three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. This helps it rise really nicely. Two, three, and then a half. Okay, so we got our baking powder. And then we're going to put one teaspoon of salt. Don't forget your salt, that's so important. Your salt. Okay. Okay, now, if you don't want sweet cornbread, you leave this out, but we like sweet cornbread, so we're gonna do three tablespoons. Three tablespoons of sugar. We like our cornbread sweet. Okay, so this is all of our dry ingredients, your flour, your baking powder, your, your cornmeal, your salt, and your sugar. And just whisk that around just to get it kind of combined. This is so easy. You don't have to buy mixes, y'all. And it's so much cheaper to do it this way. And we don't know what the future holds with our economy. And this is a simple way to Make your own cornbread and, and it's cheap. Okay, so now we're gonna start with our wet ingredients, which is just three. It's gonna be milk, an egg, and some uh, oil or butter or whatever. So I prefer to use butter. It's gonna be four tablespoons, which is one fourth cup. And oh, there's some fried pies I made. <laughs> I forgot about those being in there. So we're gonna melt this um, just for a few seconds. We're gonna do one cup of milk. One cup of milk. You can use buttermilk if you want to. 
just using regular milk, and then one egg. Okay, this butter is pretty much melted. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it in because I don't want it to be in the egg to go on the hot butter. Y'all see? Yeah. Okay, and then one room temperature egg. See how easy this is? And then your skillet's gonna be hot by the time we get this mixed up and it will be perfect to um, to put in our hot skillet. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and mix this up. And there's your cornbread. Now when you put your skillet in the oven like I'm doing with the hot, and we pour this batter over it, it's gonna give it a really good golden crunchy crust we like a crunchy crust and then whether you're using butter or bacon um bacon grease both of them are just really really good it'll just kind of come up around the sides and it's just so good okay so this is good and mixed didn't take very long at all. See, I've been recording for seven minutes. So that's about the time that we need to get this hot. So let's go ahead and take it out. Oh yeah. Be careful, because it is hot. Sure, it's all around your pan. Okay, and we'll pour, pour this in. And then we're gonna bake it for about 20 minutes until you feel like it's done. It's got a really pretty color, golden brown. Smear that around. We got the, we have the uh, bacon grease coming up on the edges. It just makes it so, so good. Give it a little shake. Get the air bubbles out. There you go. And stick it in the oven. And we are going to have delicious cornbread in a few minutes. Okay, it's been almost 20 minutes. It's been about 18 or 19 minutes. We're going to check it. And it's done. I can tell by the way that it is pulling away from the sides. Let me kind of show you if I can get a hold of this thing. You can see how it's pulling away from the sides of the deal and see how it's got that crunch on the sides. That's what is so good. Now, some people like to turn this over on a plate and keep it all um, uh, crispy. We prefer just to leave it in the in the skillet. Um, it doesn't get soggy, but it's not as crispy maybe, but we usually eat it pretty quick after it comes out of the oven. Now, I'm gonna let this cool for just a few minutes and then I'll be back and we'll have a little taste test. Oh, the first thing we wanna do, I for, almost forgot, is I always like to get a piece of um, butter and put it all on the top. Let me get some butter. Let's get a stick of butter and just rub it on the top while it's hot. Let me turn off my oven. And just rub it on the top like this. And that just makes, makes it so good. You could even put it back in the oven after you do this and it'll get a little bit more brown on the top. But I usually just just do this and then we will have it have it in just a couple of minutes after it cools down a little bit. All right, we'll taste it in a little bit. Okay, I've got somebody in here. They can't see your head. 
Uh, I got somebody in here that, you know, when you get food out of the oven here, they all come. So, uh, got some cornbread here. He wants to, he's going to be my taste man. Yeah, look at bacon grease. Let's kill it. Now, you got to have more butter, right? You want more butter, darling? Whew, it's warm. Good and hot. You gotta have butter. You gotta have real butter. Don't don't waste your time on that margarine stuff. Real butter. Let that melt for a few minutes. Look at that. Look how good that looks. Yum yum yum. This is not dry. Now, if you want a more flaky, uh, not flaky, fluffy cornbread, you can use oil instead of butter on in the recipe. I like the butter taste. All right, darling. Come here and taste it. I know Cash would taste it. <laughs> you want an edge? You want a crunchy part or you want a... I'll taste it, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Is that bacon grease? It's good. Is it delicious or good? It's really good. Mmm. Oh yeah. It tastes, like, hmm? it tastes like. It tastes like Jiffy. If you like Jiffy, but I think it might be a little better because it's made with love. But look at the bottom, y'all. See how it's crispy on the bottom? Mm mm mm. So 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 good. Just like when I grew up. Mmm. Crunchy. Delicious. Perfect with whatever you're wanting to make. Okay, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time. Until then, keep looking to the east. Bye.